shout out to the YouTube fam, Baby Justice, all the way to Big Papa JT, where's Mama JT? Our mini man is uh, giving God praise and giving the glory. But I am trying a new format on a new, uh, I'm on a new system. Everybody knows that I told you that my 32-bit desktop is fried. So I'm on my 64-bit desktop now. And there's a reason why I have not been using it as far as a lot of my music programs are concerned. And, um, a lot of the stuff is not really technology for 64-bit. A lot of the companies have not caught up yet. And so that's the reason why I have not been doing certain things like video like this per se on the 64-bit system. And this is my very, very first video. And as you can see now, my camera is at a different angle. You see my keyboard back here now. In other words, I'm sitting in front of my keyboard. And so, I just wanted everybody to know, though, if this video don't come out quite right, just bear with me until I can get the system worked out. Because I am working on a new system. However, I did not come to speak on that, just per se. But I came to just say that uh, to the Blog Talk family, and the ones in the Bible study tonight, I hope that what was said did inspire you to become closer strengthen your walk with Christ. That is my prayer and my hope. I always say that my prayer is that the body of Christ be edified and that Jesus Christ be glorified. And people, if that didn't ignite, if that didn't motivate you and spark you, I don't know what else can do it. I mean, the word of God is plain and clear. I mean, what Jesus said, God is light. That's what John said. John said, I saw him. And that when it was so bright, I fell like a dead man. Jesus, our great coming king. And, and I told y'all, I'm writing a song. I can't reveal it just yet. So just bear with me. I got a song coming. So bear with me. And uh, I just want to say to the entire Harvest Gang, uh, Brother L.A. and all the ones, and uh, my Elder Michael McCray. I told you, Elder, uh, Brother Elder Michael McCray, my favorite, one of my favorite internet pastors, he uh, lost his wife back on October 6th. And uh, we should keep him in prayer. Keep Brother Elder Michael McCray lifted up. And we just we need to do we just need to do what we need to do, people. In other words, there's so much ignorance in the world and so much we there's nothing we can do about that outside of prayer. Prayer changes things. It doesn't change God, but it does change things. And so what we should be doing, and, and I can't I can only speak for me to man, and I can ask everyone and it behoove everyone to follow Christ. That's it. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Let's follow in his footsteps. People are going to do you wrong. That's a given. People are going to do you wrong. There's nothing you can do about that. But you can. You don't have to follow suit. Pay nobody evil for evil. Render no one evil for evil. That's what it says. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I will do the repayment. So when people misjudge you, don't worry. People are going to talk about you. Don't worry. They talked about Christ. They tried to throw Jesus off the hill, remember? They tried to kill him many times. They told him he had the devil and everything else. So don't worry about what people tell you about all those things. Because in this world, we shall suffer trials and tribulations. And we're going to get persecuted. That is a given. It, that is one of the signs that lets us know that maybe perhaps we are following Christ. Because if you are not being persecuted and you're not being talked about, that means you are not making nobody angry. There's a lot of us like to be well spoken of and well thought of with everybody, regardless of what you got to do. You don't even want to just tell the truth about a certain thing because you're afraid of who you're going to offend. Well, that's your prerogative. But I choose to follow Christ. And if I say something in the truth, and if this someone get offended of the truth, then guess what? You just offend me. Because I got to stand before God one day. And I have to give an account for what I have done in this body. He's not going to ask me anything about Brother L.A. Neither he's going to ask me anything about Brother J.T. or nobody else on YouTube. But he's going to ask me about what I have done. And he's going to play it back for me. So you're not going to be able to lie your way out of that. And you're not going to, and then guess what? God is not going to worry about your attitude. So you might as well get it right while we're down here. Because guess what? If you don't get it right here, you can forget about it. You can forget about it there because you're not even going. That includes the present company speaking. We must follow Christ. That is the bottom line. So whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God is not in it, it's best that we just come on out of it because it's not going to work. With that being said, I hope this video come out right. And I know some of you will let me know that if it doesn't come out right. I know that that's a given. 
So with that being said, then the man gonna say peace and goodbye.